Well, hello, hello. <clears throat> I'm starting a wrap for the ro oh, <clears throat> excuse me, goodness gracious, for a um, wave bowl. I'm using trellis lace. I'm going to use ribbon, ribbon. Okay. I'm just starting it right now. This one wants to twist. Just got to have patience with the... <clears throat> I'm going to put a clip temporarily right there. Alright, so I'm going to need some pins. <clears throat> there, I got three pins here. I'll start my coil. And I'm going to stick a pin in. Take this off. Alright, so right here I want to start another ribbon. Oh, I got a string. Housekeeper didn't get that one. Put a pin in it. Right there. Whoops, that didn't go in there very good. <laughs> go in there right. There we go. Alright, so now I'm going to add another ribbon. Hmm, which one do I want to use? I think I'll use this one. Where's my end? I hid my end. I keep rubber bands on these because they'll fall and make a mess. Alright, this is the end. There's the end. See what I mean? It just falls right off. Alright, keep a rubber band around her. Alright, this is more than I need. Alright, how much do I need? Let me just cut some. Okay. Alright, we gotta get rid of this string. Can you see all right? Everybody can you see? Okie dokie. Alright, so I want it this way. Right there. This ribbon, if you got any dry skin, it's going to stick to you. <laughs> So, a little bit more. Alright, so I'm going to take this pin out. Stick it in. Go in there right. Okay. So I need one more wrap. Two more wraps. Can you see? I want it. I want it to go past this this one. So one more. And that looks good. Okay, so I'm gonna come around. I'm gonna go 
I'm going to hold it underneath that pin. I'm going to hold it and repin. Alright, so I'm ready to turn my sewing machine on. Uh-oh. I'm in an awkward position here because of that tripod. Alright, stick it under here. Sew machine on straight stitch. I might have to move this tripod. It's in the way. Try not to hit this pin. Alright. It can be a little tedious. Alright, let me take this other pin out because I'm getting ready to turn it. Do my star shape. Turn it. Now turn it again. Cut these. Trash can. Now don't go over this rope right here because I gotta start wrapping. Turn it. I want my wave to go close to the center is why I'm doing it this way. So you gotta wrap your rope beforehand. Go on that rope. Alright, All right, now it's ready for me to So we have a start. We got a start. I'm going to cut this ribbon off. I will not be using that little piece. Okay. Now. Decisions. Do I want to wrap with the blue blue? I think I do. Alright, this one I put a pin in. me some put the pin back in it to hold it in place because it will go everywhere ribbon all right so now we want to all right here's this is like white but I'm gonna start it right up against where the thread hit there You can't see that it's right there, but it's right there. Can you see it? It's white. The white part is right there. All right. Tuck it under there. Hold it. Wrap it. Hold it. Oh, I'm in an awkward position. Where are you going, Ribbon? Ribbon wants to go. Da -da -da -da. This tripod's in my way. In my way. Alright, so I need to go past right here. This is another white spot from the that ribbon. <coughs> Turn it, hold it in place, and look and see. It's hard for me to see that, too. I'm going to do one more wrap. All right, that's good. I'm going to put a clip right there. Cut it back under. I'm going to start my zigzag. Zigzag. Hold my 
thread. It's a little bit tedious right here, so go slow. You want to make sure your needle's going in both of the ropes. Cut your strings off. I like taking it off each time so I can get a better placement to where I want my wrap to go. I might be wasting some thread. Alright, so I'm going to take this off. Let's see. Is that where it's supposed to go? Yep. see where I need to stop. Looks like it's right there. I didn't backstitch because I usually go back further where I stopped. Alright, so just turn this over. Pull your ribbon back a little bit. And get as close to the threads as you can. I can use that one on the next row. Alright, that's what she's looking like so far. Now, do I want to keep going from one to the other or do another blue? I think I'm going to do another blue. If you've ever been to the beach or the ocean, the water is different colors or shades of colors. Because of the clouds, the sand color, the water color. So you have different colors in your wave. And if you have a, a nice wave, which they call a hang tin for the surfers. You got the clear part. So, you can add in your different colors. Sometimes you get the reflection of the sunshine in there, too. So, your waves are really <clears throat> all different colors from the, the clouds, the sun, the color of the water, the color of the sand in the ocean. Right, I went too far. So that usually makes your water look a certain color. Am I smart? <laughs> but you don't have to make it look like the ocean wave. You can make it rainbow colors or purples I did one with purples that turned out gorgeous that was my favorite bowl I sold it though I should have kept it and I was using different colors of <coughs> scrap pieces <coughs> and stop Okay, I think I'm going to do the trellis lace now. This is going to be pretty. And uh, I don't think I can use that one. Okay, so I'm going to use some of the trellis lace. Can you see it forming? Not really. Alright, so it starts right here. This little string... That's from the trellis lace. I might have to pick that out. That trellis lace right there. And this is the trellis lace I'm using. This one is a real small one. It's alright. It's the right color. That's what I was going for. The color. 
I was going for the color. Okay. All right, so this is where the end is. So I want to go back just a little bit. Maybe a quarter of an inch. All right, so that ain't far enough. So the trellis lace, I usually put it the end on an angle and hold it with my thumb. And they'll come around and wrap over it. Wrap over it. I'm still holding it with my thumb. Just wraps it and tightens it in there. And that little string. I'm holding it with my finger. Wrapping over them two little strings. And I'm getting hungry. I should have ate before I came on. It's cold. So how's everybody? Is it raining in your area? It's been raining here two days. Um, thank God. Because the pollen's crazy. I have a black car. <laughs> <clears throat> and it was covered. It looked like it was glow in the dark. <laughs> yeah, that pollen something. Our azalea bushes are blooming right now. Looks like I don't have enough of this trellis lace. So I might have to add a piece. Each time you wrap, it's going to get longer. <clears throat> so you can't really cut your sizes unless you're a mathematician. <laughs> You could, but and each wave usually turns out different. It it's all about where you're spacing. Now this one I wanted the wave to come closer to the center, so I started it earlier. And then this is the white part. But anyway, it goes right there. Right here each time I'm stepping backwards and then whoops you're going past your last wrap all right I gotta add some more I gotta add add I didn't cut enough <clears throat> I don't know what's up in my throat excuse me I don't know. All right, this piece don't want to stay. Get your stuff down in there. All right, here we go. So I'm holding both of them now. And I'm going to hold it and wrap over it. See it? Those are two pieces. The end and the beginning of the new wrap. All right, how much do I need? I need a little, about four more wraps. One, two. I'm wrapping it close to the... I'm not spacing it. I'm wrapping it up against. So the trellis lace is kind of like showing the clear part of the wave or like the suds, the white colored suds from the splash. <laughs> Just saying. Am I getting all scientific now? This one might be interesting. Yep, you can't go wrong. As long as you get the placement to where you want your wave. Um, you can use any colors.
This is gonna be cool looking. <clears throat> did anybody see the one I did yesterday? Hey, that's what she's looking like so far. In the back side. All right, let me see. We got nine people. Well, hi. Hi, everyone. Where is everybody from? Uh-oh, let me, let me read some comments. Pensacola, Florida. Well, hi, Miss Beth. Pensacola. Dang, I ain't been to Pensacola in years. Uh, let me see. Some of my comments disappeared here. Hi, Gail. Oh, we got quite a few from Florida. Whoa, hey. Um, hi, Sherry. <laughs> hi, Rita. Pensacola again. Jacksonville, North Carolina. You're not too far from me, Debbie. In Wisconsin. Hi, Mary. Kissimmee. I know where Kissimmee is. My sister, she lives not too far from Kissimmee. I grew up in Florida. So, hey, Florida gals. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, I grew up near Ocala. My sister, she's past Kissimmee. She's down there in Lake Wales. My brother, my younger brother, he's in uh, Orlando. Yeah, I grew up in a little Indian town called Oklahoma. If you ever heard the story about Ma and Pa Barker. Um, I lived, what, I don't know, I'm going to guess about 10 miles from there. From where that house, where Ma and pa, Paul Barker, the famous robbers. <laughs> yep, that's where I, I grew up. I went to high school there. Yep. Small world, isn't it? I'm in North Carolina. I live right on the coast. I am about 45 minutes from Jacksonville, I think. I think it's 45 minutes. It might be a little longer. Hour and 45. Is it an hour? I don't know. It's not too far. Cool beans, y'all. Cool beans. Alright, here we go. Yep, I live right on the coast. Well, not on it. I'm 10 miles from the coast. The beach. Here we go. What the heck was that? The sun just came out a few minutes ago, but we had a downpour earlier. Mm, I didn't make the trash can. I think the housekeeper will get mad. All right, so I went a little bit too far in that, but I want some color, so I'm gonna scoot it back a little bit. We're we're gonna cheat a little bit. There we go. Don't tell nobody. If you got patience, you can do this. It's, it's, it's easy. You just got to have patience. <laughs> Did I contradict myself? <laughs> 
easy and patient. All right, let's look at it, see what it needs. Let's see what it needs. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? I think I want to do some more trellis. <clears throat> what you think? How many machines do I have? Hmm. Do you really want to know? <laughs> hey, every sewing machine does something different. Every sewing machine doesn't act the same. This one right here, I said I was never going to use rope on. This one's a plastic sewing machine. But, if you saw my, I think it was the last video. The older sewing machine, the motor got hot, but it was giving me, um, uh, needle it, no what was it doing was it the needle i think it was the needle the cheap needles but anyway the motor got real hot so i gotta oil it and check the belt so i'm using this one my godmother she gave me the sewing machine it's a plastic sewing machine but she's working she's doing her job I have my mom's sewing machine. I have the baby lock that's on timeout. I need to take that to the shop. The feed dogs are wore out. I mean, they're they're like smooth. They're they're done. <laughs> but the feed dogs, they don't really have that much grip anyway on that sewing machine. I looked at some to replace it, and the teeth, the teeth on it are real smooth. They don't have grip grip like some sewing machines. But anyway, anyway, and I have an old Morris that I can't get the tension right on that thing to save my life. <laughs> I got my mom's. Mom has a Morris too, but I got to put a new belt on that. And I don't really want to use that sewing machine. Not yet. I can still hear mom saying, don't you touch my sewing machine. Um, that sewing machine is pretty. It's a metallic teal. Whew, she's pretty. The other Morris is like a tan cream color. I have a Kenmore too. The bobbin. The bobbin. I, something's going on in the bobbin area on that one. Yep. My other Kenmore, this part right here broke. It was a plastic one. I don't, I don't pay that much for sewing machines, y'all. The one, the old sewing machine, that one was, I think I paid sixty bucks for that. But I did some sewing work to pay for that. So, that was cool. That was cool. You can't have enough sewing machines. Plus, people give them away and they throw them away. Sometimes dumpsters you'll find people threw, threw a whole desk. Or not a desk, a cabinet with an old sewing machine. Now, that's hard to get out. It's hard to get out of the dumpster, too. 
Why do people throw stuff like that away? I don't know. Do they not know people will love to have an old sewing machine? Don't throw them away. Give it away. I have a straight stitch sewing machine too. It's a um domestic. Now that one, that one sews its hard out, but it don't have zigzags. It just sews straight. I used that sewing machine for a long time. The rubber on the um, bobbin wheel. <laughs> it's rotten. It's falling apart. Alright. It's starting to look like a wave. Do I like what I just did? Hmm. Should I add some more trellis in there? Should I add some more blue or some more trellis? We'll let you make decision. More trellis? More the blue or the the multi? Which one do you think I should put in now? More trellis, more blue, or this one? I'll let y'all pick. Which one would you put in there? Alright, let me hold it to where it looks like a wave. There we go. Which one would you put in there? I'm going to let y'all pick. Okay, we got one blue, two blues. Anybody else? We got eight people. What color? What color? So far the blue. Okay, we got three blue. Should I do two rows of blue? Three rows of blue? What you think? We got two rows of blue right here. Oh, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Great minds think the same. Yeah, I think it needs more blue, too. Great minds think the alike. All right, so I'm going to pull quite a bit of this out. So it's blue it is, and we're going to do three. Blue it is. Did I sound southern just then? <laughs> Blue it is. This is going to be an interesting wave. I'd say so myself. Alright, come on. You got to tuck in there better than that. I had to cut my fingernails off. I can't do nothing now. I've been doing deep cleans at work. Speaking of deep cleans, you wouldn't believe what I found. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, where where I work at, it's like 1970s. I think, it, I don't know, it might be 60s. But anyway, I, the, the oven, the stove... Is one of those old, um, what they call apartment stoves. It's old. Real old, y'all. <laughs> Alright, so I'm replacing all the aluminum foil that we cover the um, drip pans under, the, you know, the eyes of the stove. So I'm pulling all that off. 
I lift the top up, pull the aluminum foil where everything spills and gets yucky. Pull that out. And I open the oven door. <laughs> Y'all like my stories? Anyway, I opened up the door. And there was a cookie sheet that had food on it. Mind you, it's been since October. And we are in March. Almost the end of March. Okay, you want to know what it was? <laughs> the cookie sheet had... I don't know, was it 10? Had 10 either, the, I don't know if they were hot dogs or sausages. <laughs> I was like, ew. That was gross. <laughs> but I had about 10 of them on the cookie sheet. Ugh. I walked over to the the laundry uh, where the supervisor, she's usually doing the laundry. And I walked over there with that pan. <laughs> I said, bon appetit. <laughs> they love me at work because I'm a clown. <laughs> I make everybody laugh. But anyway, that was kind of funky. The joys of being a housekeeper. Yeah, it's been in there since October. That's <clears throat> long time. Long time. So if you have a rental or Airbnb somewhere, make sure you uh Check the oven and fridge and stuff before you uh, shut it down for the winter. <laughs> hmm. they, can, they can draw bugs. It can be stinky. It can be gross. Alright, so we got one row. Y'all like my stories? Do you, do you? Alright, so I'm going to go back a bit. <laughs> they thought it was going to be an animal. Woo! Well, it used to be. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that was not what I wanted to find. <laughs> it's soaking with oven cleaner right now. I sprayed it. Oh, was it Thursday? I was off yesterday. I'm off today. I got work tomorrow. It's going. It's getting ready to be real busy at the beach for um, Easter and then I get, probably the rest of the summer. Anyway, thank God I got work finally. Y'all, I had three different jobs and it was still only getting three days a week. Three jobs. I said, I feel like, uh, no, I can't, I don't think I can say it on here. <laughs> I can't say it. Anyway, I had three jobs going. Plus my little side hustle trying to Make these bowls and stuff, but <laughs> so now I have just the one. But that's how slow it got. I had three jobs and still was only working three days a week. That's crazy. I was working one day for, per each job. Hmm. I think I need to work at Walmart.
Oh, Joanne's Fabrics getting ready to go out of business. Did y'all know that? I know in certain areas there's quite a few up there going out of business. Joanne's Fabrics. All the good stores are leaving us. What the heck? I don't know if Hancock's fabric's still still going. Next time I go see my kids, um, I'm gonna go see if that that Hancock store is still there. <clears throat> All right, there's two rows. One more. I need some more. Ribbon. I don't think I can do anything with that ribbon. Oh, that's pretty. I don't think y'all get to see the full color. The true color, I should say. I'm rolling. I'm cutting. All right. Which one should I do next? Which one should I do next? That's what she's looking like so far. And your placement doesn't have to be exact, just as long as it's somewhat. This is fun. Patience, but fun. What color would you pick next? As soon as I finish this one, I'll hold it up and we'll figure out what color to use next. So each time you do a, a row for the wave, it gets longer and longer. So I'm halfway right now. It gets longer and longer. I like to do my waves kind of thicker for some reason. You can do long skinny ones. I've done a, a double wave. It looked like triple wave because of the uh, white of the rope. Um, you can do, you can do triple wave too. Uh, Amber in in our group, she did a triple wave. It's on Pinterest somewhere. <coughs> yeah, somebody took her picture and put it on Pinterest. All right, I think I did that right on the money. Here we go. Hey, this sewing machine's faster than the other sewing machine, too. Sorry, I like taking my time though. I like everything to look a certain way. Yeah, I've been making bowls five years. Good grief. And... All right, what color are we doing next? It's going to be y'all's wave in a minute. Color next. Alright, that's the way it's gonna look. 
Look how pretty. What color next? Hancock's has been gone for years. Well, I've been here 10 years. I don't know. It might be still there. So what color would you use next? Do I sell at fairs? Yeah, when I can get in them. Or have the money to get in them. I clean air and bees and stuff and work at hotels. <clears throat> so they, <clears throat> I usually have to work on Saturdays or Sundays. Sundays and Mondays mainly. So... Thank you, Clary. <laughs> Multi. There's one multi. Anybody else? We got 11 people. Amber, this one, I'm using uh, two blues and the multi-colored one here, I guess you'd call it multi, trellis with yellow, trellis with yellow, you just want me to dig, <laughs> Multi. Okay, we got two multis. Let me see if I got any more trellis with yellow. Hmm. I have trellis that's like a... I don't know. I kind of want to stick with the three that I picked. All right, we'll do the multi. All right, we'll do multi. So one row, two rows. One row and then look. All right, this, this piece ain't enough. I'll put it to the side. All right, I'm going to show you the bowl I made yesterday. This is my bowl I made yesterday. Ain't it pretty? And she's got a home already. She's getting ready to go to, was it Washington? I think it's Washington. It's either Washington or um, uh, Michigan. I can't remember. I haven't done the... Um, package yet but she's going one of those places is it Michigan I'd had to look <laughs> hmm. yeah that one turned out really pretty <clears throat> pretty pretty All right, we'll see if we need two rows of this or just the one. Pretty, pretty. <laughs> I'm laughing at y'all. I'm glad y'all like my humor. Hmm. 
Yeah, my job, they like me there. Everywhere I work, people like me, but... Hey, I, I try to make my day go nice. Because I'm not cute when I'm angry. <laughs> I am not cute. That's where that red hair comes in. Alright, here we go. Oh. Got my foot underneath the tripod here. the trash can I'm sitting at another uh, other table I have it set up like in an L shape I got two little tables my other sewing machines to my left at it and see if we need to do should I do another row of the multi alright let's see we'll turn it should I do another row of multi I hate I started the white right here but anyway it's cool. What you think? Another multi? Got one yes, two yes. Let's see if I can get it to um to another color so it won't I'm gonna cut where the blue is. <coughs> see now if I wrap it from here it's gonna extend the brown. I don't know, that might be kinda cool though. Hmm. Or I can just cut it right here and start it with blue. Hmm. Options, options. You can make it do what you want to do. Make it do what you want to do. Okay. I'm going to start it. Both ends cut at the same spot. Anywho, here, let me cut this straight. Here. Cut it straight. Alright. This is fun. Y'all making this way today. Y'all are doing it. <laughs> That's the fun part of having lives. But y'all picked colors. Y'all using me as a guinea pig. <laughs> but yeah, I've, I've done all colors and waves. They always turn out pretty cool. 
it gives you a little surprise, you know, when you're done. It's like, oh, okay, I like that. I don't think I've ever taken a wave bowl apart. So that tells you something right there. They always turn out pretty cool. I don't think I have. I've taken other bowls apart. I don't think I've ever taken a wave apart, though. Maybe because it takes so long. <laughs> no. They always do. They turn out cool. They do. They do. All right. Let's see. Oh, okay. See, it did what I thought it was going to do. Right here. All right, that looks kind of cool. Looks like the sun shining on it. Sun shining through the the thin part of the wave. It's giving it like a rainbow. Am I taking you on a, in an adventure? One day I'm going to take y'all to the beach with me. Put, put, I got to put the app on my phone. Take y'all with me. See some real water. Some people have never seen the ocean. <clears throat> My first time seeing the ocean was in 1987, I think it was. Uh-oh. Am I needing bobbin already? It sounds like I'm going to need some bobbin. <clears throat> and I wrapped too much. You know what? I'm going to scoot it down and give it some color. I scooted it down because there's too much white right there. There we go. Have been a good choice. That might have been a good choice. Now I think we might need some more trellis lace. Yeah? More trellis lace? What you think? Oh, hi, Kathy from Colorado. More trellis lace? Should we do two rows of trellis lace? Clary said yes. <laughs> More trellis lace? I think we should do, try two with the trellis lace. Oh, hey, JL, Arizona, a perfect wave. Yep, the sun shining through it, it's showing a little rainbow and showing the orange from the sun. <clears throat> so we'll do some more trellis. Should we do two? Two rows. Pfft. 
<coughs> Goodness gracious, what's going on? Hmm. My coffee's cold. Don't forget to give me some thumbs up. Give me some thumbs up. If you hadn't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. It's free. And if you want to buy coffee, there's a little heart that says super thanks. Um, I don't think it's on this on the live itself but if you watch any of the videos it's usually at the bottom right beside the comments and that helps out buying supplies and keep the internet on and yaddy yaddy get more Stories. <laughs> Alright, this this trellis lace is tedious, so this is going to take me a minute. And if you're watching the video and you're not able to comment, it's usually because you're not uh, subscribed. That's what they say anyway. Sometimes it's just the internet or your app needs re, um, reboot, a reboot, refresh, whatever they call that. This is fun. I'm letting y'all pick. I don't have to do the thinking. I don't have to do the thinking. Just make it. I think I'm going to tilt too. And start forming the bowl. So did y'all decide one row of trellis or two? Or you want me to put this one on and show it to you? Good grief, this one's going to take a year to wrap. Alright, I'm halfway. <coughs> halfway there and a long way to go. Y'all know the name of that song? I said it wrong, but... A short time to get there. Somebody knows that song. <clears throat> Short time to get there. My scissors in the way. Goodness gracious. Y'all see how small this stuff is? I can't help myself though. I can put it in the bowl, I will sure enough try it. Video suck. Whose video sucks? Mine? Well, thank you. Thank you for the comment. And a little bit more. <coughs> I 
thank you, thank you. Cause I wanna thank you. I think I got just enough for this one. Comments are good. Comments are good. Just saying. <laughs> All right, here we go. Where'd my string go? Just a smidge more of that one. Darn it. Didn't quite make it. Just a smidge. Ah, uh, darn it. If you're happy and you know it. Oh, I said I was going to tilt, didn't I? We'll tilt now. I got distracted. All right, let's see. Are we making another row? Of the trellis. All right, here we go. Let me look. You're learning a lot? Well, thank you. Don't, don't worry about it. It's cool. They're having a, 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 a day. Two rows. Tilt. Yeah, you, I forgot to tilt. I just started. Just ignore it. Comments are good. Ignore it. Trust me, I wanted to say something too, but... Love your neighbor... Hmm. Yeah, they're having a day. All right, so we're going to do the second row. I think somebody said two rows. Two rows. You're learning a lot? Well, thank you. That's good. We're just hanging out. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ooh, I have to laugh at that, y'all. Go ahead and laugh. Y'all can laugh at it. Please do. <laughs> Ain't nothing gonna break my... How's that song go? Little light of mine. Joy, joy, joy. <laughs> Cause we got joy, joy, joy in my heart. Probably get banned for singing. Yep. Laughing so, that's what we do. We have a good old time over here. It might be a long video. 
but you get to hear my crazy stories and get to hear my southern accent. You get to pick what color to put on a bowl. Not everybody's video do that. Color. What should I do next? That's the whole point of having a live video. So we can have fun. Hang out. Get some inspiration. Let's go hit that sewing machine with some rope. Pull out some scrap pieces of fabric. Some yarn. Some trellis lace. Wrap some rope, sew it in a circle, and hang out with Laurel. That sounds like fun. See what we can come up with. I wonder if that's the same person that made the comment in another video. That's what I wonder. I'm not going to block them. I'm going to be nice. Is Crafty Patty still making videos? Y'all know? It'd be fun to get her on a live with me. I think I could do that. I don't know. I had to message her. See if she would do that. I think you can do that. I think I have enough subscribers to do different things. That would be fun. Is she still making bowls? Do y'all know? Anybody follow Crafty Patty? That would be fun. I watched one of her videos when I first learned how to do these. Um, was it Dr. De is it Dr. Domestic? Mr. Domestic. I seen his video and then I seen Crafty Patty's video when I first started making uh, rope bowls. Actually, my first thing I made was a coaster. Just to see if I could do it. And then I couldn't have enough white thread or cream thread. It kept running out. <laughs> Back then I only had the, the regular sewing machine um, spools. I, don't, I still to this day I don't think I have any white or cream. I got every other color though. I got all colors. I started buying the big cones, the serger thread, or the um, what do they call it, the lock. What is it? Overlock, overlock, yeah. So I buy those two because, you, you know, you use so much thread and those regular size spools. They don't go far. They don't go far and you're probably paying more money buying those. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Don't you do it. What happened? Uh-oh. Something happened. Something just happened. Uh-oh. Don't you do it. Come here. Get out of there. Something just happened. Ah, oh, I think I ran out of bobbin. 
That's what had happened. <laughs> yep. Ran out of bobbin. We just got through talking about that. Come on. Let me cut my end. I can't get it through the hole. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm making a bobbin. I'm trying to get this thread to go through the hole. Go through the hole. <laughs> Maybe I need to spit on it. There we go. A little spit on it works. <coughs> okay, we're making a bobbin. Oh, I need to read my comment. That's I interpret. Hold on, y'all. I can't see it sideways. It's one thing about Singer and, um, Kenmore is the bobbins are big and they hold a lot of thread. So that's a good thing about Singer and uh, the Kenmore. <coughs> they have a, a thicker bobbin case and they hold more thread. Get in there. Okay. Bobbin. Ta da! I'm ready to go. Let me read comments. Let y'all look at this pretty wave. Look at it. Ain't it pretty? Should I do another? Should I do just two rounds or three? Alright, I'm going to read comments right quick. Yeah, you're talking about Crafty Patty. Well, thank you, JL. Mary, did you use... What did I use for the blue wave? Oh, the blue wave that I showed earlier. It was this one. It's a type of uh, trellis lace. Can you see it? That's what I use on that other bowl that I showed earlier. I have no idea what name brand that is. Well, thank you on the sand dollar and the... Lack of sewing skills? Well, thank you. I am self-taught. So how you feel about yourself now? Didn't nobody teach me how to sew. Thank you. That's nice. Lack of sewing skills. 
I think I'm doing pretty darn good. You must be enjoying me watching. Alright, I think I need some more trellis lace. You're enjoying me. You surely are. joy in my heart that was a nice comment I really enjoyed that comment thank you that gives me more inspiration to keep on doing what I'm doing Maybe my skills will get better. I hope my skills get better. All I do is try to encourage other people. I think I went too far on that one. I think I'm doing pretty good because I'm the one that came up with the wave anyway. Good job, Laurel. Look at here. Y'all, look at the colors. Y'all picked it. All right, what color next? I think she needs the dark blue. I'll let y'all pick. Where did I get the blue trellis lace? This one? If you go, um... On Etsy, just type in trellis lace. Uh, I don't remember the name of this one. But they have all different colors. They, there's like three different sizes. This one, I have no idea where I got this from. I don't know where I got this one from. <clears throat> Probably eBay. Alright, ignore it. Yep. Well, thank you. That's right. Comments are fine on here. If they're negative or not. It just boosts my uh, videos even more. Don't worry about it. The dark blue, yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's going to be cool look. It's interesting, that's for sure. <clears throat> yeah. They're just not have happy with their self, that's all. That's all. I encourage people. Y'all know that. And I tell in my videos, I'm not a professional in my skill. I'm self-taught. I'm self-taught because I have dyslexic, mainly. So, hopefully they learn something from the video. It'll be alright. Just let them talk 
talk their uh, niceness. That's how they know how to be nice. Just saying. Uh oh, I dropped one. No, don't snag it. Yeah, just ignore it. Any comments are, are good for my videos, so. If anything, she just boosted me up on the YouTube world. I guess it's a she. It's a he or a she, I don't know. It'll be okay. I can go in and block, but it's it's fine. No biggie. It's no problem. Happy for them. I'm glad she's got skills. Or he. That's a good thing. I got skills. I got skills enough to teach myself how to do things. How about that? I'm doing real good. If you only heard my whole life story. I think I'm going to check and see if they make any videos. See see if I can learn some skills from them. How about that? <laughs> Don't subscribe to them, y'all. <laughs> Just check the videos out. If, if they even make videos. <clears throat> That's cool. What a heifer. Heifer. <laughs> Be nice, Laurel. Don't let that red hair come out. Okay, this wave's coming up the side. My other bowl that I did early, showed you earlier, that one didn't. Lack of skills. I got lack of skills. Mm -hmm. But I make a killer wave. That's my new song. Sewing skills? What's wrong with my sewing skills? I don't know what's wrong with my sewing skills. What y'all think? It looks good. Um. 
I was thinking about. Well, I cut out a starfish and a, a, a what do they call that? A nuclear. A nucleus. And I found a piece of a tail. Um, let's play with it. I hope that person that was being so nice um, ain't on here because I'm going to be giving them my, my ideas that I'm uh, so unskilled. <laughs> I think that's too big. Anyway, be nice, Laurel. Gotta be nice. Gotta love your neighbor. All right, so I pieced this sunflower. sunflower. Lord have mercy. Oh, yeah. Look at that, y'all. That would be pretty right there. I don't know about the nucleus. Is that what they call it, nucleus? I might be saying it wrong. I'm good for saying something wrong. I don't think the nucleus needs to be in there. The starfish would look cute. And I'm going to have to piece it together. Um, I had to... See? There was two pieces. I pieced it together. That's the way Laurel does things. And she don't have sewing skills. <laughs> that darn Laurel. She ain't got no sewing skills. But she can do a damn go and wave. And make it look so darn good. I don't know what to say. She's so darn good. I don't know. I plead the fifth on that one. <laughs> Gotta be funny, y'all. Just make it funny. Gotta make it funny. If she's still on here, she's enjoying my video, so she done told a big old story. Or he, I don't know if it's a he or she. Anyway, should I do a third round of the blue? I think so. Or maybe one row of the multi and then another blue over top that might be cool too i'm kind of looking at it is my video too long we got distracted from the the nice person earlier We got distracted. That's what they wanted to do. They just wanted to distract everybody. It worked. Ouch. Not for long, though. Okay, here we go. My lack of skills here. more blue To love your neighbor. Okay, 
All right, how far did I need to wrap? Did y'all see that? A little bit more. Oh, I see a pea, sti <coughs> a pea sticking out. Yep, I don't know how to quilt. I had to watch a video to learn how to do a pinwheel. I succeeded, though. I did do a pinwheel. I did pinwheel with two inch squares. I did. I think I did it on a bit. Did I do it on a video? I put the quilt in the bottom of a bowl. I don't think I did that on the video. Alright, y'all. This video is getting super long. Everybody got the concept of what I did? It's not hard. You just got to have patience. Oh, don't forget. You got to have sewing skills. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, she pretty. My part of the thing sticking out right here. That's kind of pretty, y'all. Look at there. Here's the back. Pretty, pretty. I'll probably end up putting the starfish in. I'm going to go ahead and take me a break. Because the video is kind of long. 98 minutes. So it's been an hour and... No. Hour and some change. Alright, y'all. That was fun. So give it a try. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. A third row... And then come in with one of these. And then do another blue. So yeah. That's probably what I'll do. I'll put that there so I re remember. But I'm going to take me a little break. And I'm going to see if the nice person has a video. And see if I can learn some skills from, from them. Um... If you want to check, see if they got videos, don't subscribe to them. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> You're welcome. That was fun. I'm a little irritated a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm trying to be nice. But I wanted to see. See if I can learn something from their skills. But here's the other ball. This one sold this morning. Isn't it pretty? I like this one. I kind of focused on this. Where the rope is. Instead of this one. Because usually I would put the shells or something down here. But I was liking the way this did. But each one turns out different. Each one turns out different, so. Isn't that pretty? That one turned out pretty. I see why it sold. Alright, y'all. I'm going to go see if I learned some skills on the other channel over here. <laughs> <laughs> Love y'all. See, I might come back on later. <clears throat> Alright, y'all have a good weekend. Love y'all.